Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. Good evening, everybody. Now, a day after the Lloydminster Reapers victory over the Cold Lake Penguins, the playoff picture is getting a little clearer. The Reapers clinch a home playoff game, sitting in third place currently in the standings. A huge accomplishment for the club that entered the Edmonton Rugby League just this year, facing uncertainty of putting a team together that would be competitive enough to play in the league. I think the transfer over to Alberta from Saskatchewan brought some of the old guys back out, gave them a, a, an extra little step for next year. Um, but yeah, we had uh, even our, our young guys, we, our high school programs around here are phenomenal. I mean, we got guys playing with the Prairie Wolf Packs, uh, U16 and that. And so those are the guys that have come up and that's what we need in, in the league and in the town um, to come over to Edmonton and to have the quality of games we've had is phenomenal. The Penguins, meanwhile, are on the outside looking in, sitting four points back of the Parkland Sharks for the final spot in the playoffs. The Penguins can still make the postseason if they win and score more than four tries to earn that extra bonus point, setting up a winner-take-all matchup with the Sharks next week in Stony Plain. We the it would be a, a huge relief for us, and, and the, 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 real, the regular season isn't the real season for us. We're chasing a championship, and that should be the goal every single year. So we hope that that's the case, but uh, we still have a lot of work to do. Well, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. You know, we play in rugby for four weeks and coming out and smashing heads with more than full-grown men. Uh, it, to, to have the kind of season that we've had based on seasons past, it's fantastic. And, and win, lose, draw, whether we get in or not, there's, there's no disappointment whatsoever. Moving on to hockey, the Lloydminster Bobcats camp wrapped up today with the final scrimmages. It's the start of the, um, you know, the tough decisions, and it'll be tougher at inner squad, and it gets tougher from that point forward as you try to get down to your 23-man roster. But... Uh, you know what, we're excited to get it going, and I know the players are very eager to get started. The players did all they could. Now the coaching staff will try to trim the roster down from 48 players to 40 ahead of Monday's Orange and Black inner squad game. Coach and GM Gord Thibodeau likes what he's seen in camp this week. I think we've got a lot more skill uh, than we had last year at camp, and I think we have a bit more of a uh, high IQ in terms of uh, moving the puck and playing with some speed, so that's a key for us this year. Another key is finding a true number one goalie to replace Devin Green. Three were invited to camp this year compared to just six a year ago. But Thibodeau says there's more to come. We're just in the process of finalizing a goaltender, a 20-year-old goaltender that we'll announce here in the next week or so. But, um, you know, there's still a little bit of tweaking, so we're still trying to fill, uh, you know, a couple of the spots.